In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make two balls at once into the same pocket. We are playing 8 ball, are on stripes and our opponent left us in this situation. The only ball we can hit is that 13 ball, but the 2 ball is blocking the corner pocket, so what can we do? We will make the 13 ball into the same corner pocket by sending it straight onto the 2 ball and follow it into the pocket. I guess most of you have already heard of this shot or already seen or executed it, but I noticed that a lot of players are playing this shot wrong because they've heard of spin transfer. What is spin transfer? In the video where I'm showing you how to play Efren Ray's famous side pocket kiss shot, I already explained that. If you didn't watch this lesson yet or don't know about spin transfer, consider to pause this video and first watch the other lesson. But let's summarize it real quick. If I add the right spin onto the cue ball, the object ball will get left spin. If I add left spin onto the cue ball, the object ball of course will get right spin. If the cue ball has drawn it when hitting the object ball, the object ball will get follow. If the cue ball has follow on it when hitting the object ball, the object ball will get draw from the cue ball. But why are people playing this shot wrong because of spin transfer? The logical conclusion of what I just told you is that we have to hit low on the cue ball so that the 13 ball gets follow, hits the 2 ball and follows into the pocket. You could do this of course, but it's not the right way to do it. And I will tell you why. If you hit low on the cue ball, you have to hit harder so that the cue ball reaches the 13 ball with that draw on it. If you hit hard, your stroke inevitably won't be as accurate as when hitting softer. But in order to make the two balls into the same pocket, you have to hit the two ball very straight and be very accurate. This is one disadvantage. But the second disadvantage is much more important. If you are hitting hard, the 13 ball will also be faster of course. And what does a faster ball mean? It means it takes the ball longer to leave the tangent line after hitting another ball. Consider to watch my video understanding the cue ball. Here I explain how the cue ball moves along the tangent line and at what time the cue ball leaves the tangent line. But for this lesson all you have to know. The harder a ball hits another ball, the longer it takes the ball to leave the tangent line. So if we hit hard, we have to be very accurate and hit the two ball very straight. If we could hit softer, the 13 ball would leave the tangent line earlier and therefore have a bigger chance to follow into the pocket. But how do we get the draw on the cue ball then, or rather the follow on the 13 ball? Don't worry, a rolling ball always follows the object ball without spin transfer. Look at this example. I'm hitting the cue ball low so that you see that there is definitely no follow on it. And look at the reaction of the cue ball after hitting the object ball. The cue ball follows although I hit low on it, and that's because the cue ball loses its rotation on the way to the object ball and then it's just a rolling cue ball. And a rolling cue ball always follows a little bit. Look at this shot. Do you see how far away the object ball is from the corner pocket? I'm hitting low on the cue ball again. The cue ball loses its rotation and becomes a rolling cue ball and still is able to follow into the corner pocket. So all we pretty much have to do in our previous situation is to hit the object ball soft onto the 2 ball. And if we hit straight, the 13 ball should still follow. We are doing that to be more accurate and more important that the 13 ball leaves the tangent line earlier and has a bigger chance to follow into the pocket, even when we not hit that straight. And that's the whole trick behind the shot. I really recommend to watch those two lessons about spin transfer and understanding the cue ball, because it's very important to understand this lesson. If you like this video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and comment of course. And thanks to all for all your support, your likes, your comments and your shares. You're just the best. Thanks for watching. See you at the next lesson. Take care.